Okay, so here's what we're gonna do today. We're back in the Mojave. We, I left off with a bunch of NCR quests to do, but I don't know if I wanna start them. I kind of wanna start with the, that creepy casino that I tried to go visit, but then I lied to the woman there and she rejected me. And I haven't been back since because I, what is it called? <laughs> Why can't you just think of the word? Um, let's go to the North or the Strip. The, uh, you know, the one with all the, where everything's really expensive. The Lux. The Lux Casino. I would like to go there. I would like to see what's going on there. Gambler. Okay, let's try and find some people again. White Glove. I think we already talked to the majority of people down here. Ah. Does this lady behind the bar talk to anybody? Excuse me, sheriff. stop moving. Keep the trying to get a drink here. Bartender. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention too. Bye bye. Adieu. Oh, adieu. I don't know what that means because I am an uncultured courier. You're just a white glove? Okay. Faceless, nameless, white gloves. They might as well be holograms. I feel right at home. It's been a minute since I've saved. Let me do that. Can I talk to you? How may I be of service, madam? I don't know yet. Um, okay, nothing. Indeed. I already talked to you. At least they're best men against Let me us. look for somebody else. Gambler? Gambler. There has to be door to white gloves section only. Okay. Maybe we can wait. To go in there. Ah, the hotel rooms. Okay, we haven't been here yet. Also, we haven't seen these candlesticks before. The place that we did see them was we found a morgue in the Sierra Madre. The only morgue that I've seen in this place. Are you alive? Okay, you are. I'm looking for murder, sir. You see, I thought you might be a victim. Are you anybody? No. You're nobody? The elite units are on the way to Requires key? I guess I didn't really investigate that guy's room too much, but I I don't know. I just kind of, I don't know. Uh, oh, is this a stain? Just a regular stain. Not a blood stain or a crime stain. <laughs> hmm. Okay. All seems to be in order. Every day. Damn, how, what, are, what are you all doing in here? You, you're all just uh, sharing sharing a suite. And I guess it's pretty expensive. This, that's pretty economical, I guess. Um, you're also a gambler. Dang, they're just sleeping off their hangovers that happened way too early in the day. Oh, are you? Oh no, just traveler. I've heard that elite units are on the way. Everyone looks special. Everyone okay. looks like. I'll do my best. Did did Ganon just say I'll do my best for sneaking? Oh, we could swim. I guess. I the planning to but there's the nothing really happening. <laughs> did you guys? I saw like a a thing for a mod or something where they had a pool and then there was a sign next to the pool that just said please do not swim we don't have a action for that or something like they didn't they didn't develop a person who could actually like make a swimming thing a swimming motion i thought that was cute which way did i come in did i come in from this way the hotel rooms okay let's go this way let's take a swim oh i wonder if i can get out of the pool or if I'll be stuck. No, I don't want to drink the pool water. You're kidding me? These these people have no idea how to use a pool properly. There's probably all kinds of germs in there. To the gourmand. Okay. Oh, is it a restaurant? <gasps> ah, I love a good doing? hotel restaurant. Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Hmm, do you work here? I, I guess do, we've already talked to this one person. Can hardly call it work. I think of myself as a caretaker rather than a common laborer. 
I suppose oh, well, it is a labor nice? of love if it can be called labor at all. We at the White Glove Society are all responsible for maintaining the beauty and class of the Ultra Lux. And as its founder, I suppose it falls to me to decide how we go about it. Okay. Bye. Ta ta. A toodaloo. I mean, adieu. Adieu, madame. Can I pickpocket her? Is that a good idea? Maybe not. Maybe not. We. Look. I'm not sure that we've hit a dead end yet. I think we can talk to maybe a couple more people. Anything behind these curtains? No. Are you enjoying your dinners? Yes? No? Well, don't take it up with me. I'm not the manager. I'm just... Oh. Oh, I thought he said... I thought his name was whatever he was saying. <laughs> wow, he's got a long name. Traveler. Wow, you guys, um... Do you like have blood on your skirt, lady? This is a this is a fine establishment. Didn't you hear? There's a dress code. You can't just come in here with blood stains on your. What can I get you? Uh, let me see what you have for sale. I guess. Oh, a knife. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm. I guess I'm not supposed to have that. So we won't. We won't sell her the knife. Mm. Oh, the surgeon outfit. I guess we could sell her that. <laughs> uh, okay, bye. Give me a shout if you need any. Pleasure speaking to you. Oh, do you have any? Uh, do you have any Sierra Madre you martinis? Look positively famished. We simply can't have that. His hand is so veiny. What the? You won't find better. Is there any like suspicious meats? Any sus I'm looking for some suspicious meats. <laughs> Do you have any of those? <laughs> some iguana on a stick. I think um, I think I watched a lore video on that where iguana meat is actually human meat. Did I explore everywhere? Is that really all we can talk? Everyone we can talk to? I mean, I guess we're gonna have to start picking doors and. Picking pockets. Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills Potentially. I thought there was an upstairs elevator to the penthouse. Can I just get up there? Can someone, can like, Chauncey. Good day. <gasps> what a cool name. Oh my gosh. Why is everyone around here dressed up and wearing masks? Those are all members of the White Glove Society. Oh, you're Our not a member? Our gave us all a dress code. There's only one rule to it. In her words, we must dress in such a way that no one can be said to have dressed better than us. As for the masks, okay. I'm not allowed to tell you. We're sworn to secrecy. What if I wear Actually, Veronica's dress while true. we're here? That's just what we're supposed to say. I think Marjorie likes them for Chauncey, the Chauncey, I like this guy. And the way they make it clear that we're different from everyone else. But you didn't hear that from me. Absolutely not. And where's your mask, Chauncey? Mm, must have forgotten to put it on. How embarrassing. Damn it! I was really, I was kind of just expecting him to say like, "Would you mind go get, going to get my mask from my penthouse suite? Here, take the key to the elevator." Farewell. I probably have to like tell on him or something, or the next time we see him, he's gonna die. Good day. Good day. Damn it. Farewell. Fare thee well. What if I let's um let's wear Veronica's outfit while we're here. Or, sorry, Vera. Oh, wait, let me take my helmet off. Oh, yes. Now, dang, we're like high rollers now, though. Oops, sorry about that. I just revealed myself. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay. That was, it was so, it was so fast. No one, no one saw that, right? Okay, okay. let's go make sure that we talked to Heck. Mr. Gunderson. And then, I don't know. I guess we'll just. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man oh, with dark what? brown we hair and a white hat this? on lately, have you? No, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news. What about the heck my happened? Boy. I thought I did talk not to you. Not one this lousy man. speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen oh, ranches. What? But I'm here for an hour, and my own son just up and disappears on me. So, Heck, you're a rancher? Yep. 
Got a whole Oops, mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. <laughs> Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Fame in the Mojave? How does that even happen? It's not like there's... I always think about that, like how people got famous when there were just newspapers. And how shady Nate newspapers were back in the day. It was basically just tabloids and... <sighs> okay. Why is your bodyguard allowed to have a gun, Mr. Heck? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there what resent they success. To do? I'd buy want to cattle? take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. Oh, gosh. I hope his son is okay. You lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the white club folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Okay, let me help you find your son. I'm good at finding things. Heck Gunderson is looking for his disappeared son. Talk to Walter Phoebus. Phoebus? About this. Let me help you. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs this and at guy least one seems good eye great. at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. Oh, I don't and need any money. <laughs> you can bet I'll pay for the names I'm of I'm carrying sons around 37 gold bars. Okay, what business did you have at the hotel? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just and the say person they who's gonna find your son? Supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Yeah, because they're finding another food source. Dun, dun, dun. Did you say something about a white glove? That's what they call themselves, the folk that run this place. They're the ones dressed all fancy with their bow ties and shiny dresses. Some of them got masks, too. Real hard to trust folks like that. A couple of them show their faces, and that's who I do my business with. I don't talk to none of the other ones. Kind of like people who wear their shades inside. Can't trust them. I'll be here. Can't can't see their faces. Oh shit! Something. You retrieved your confiscated equipment. Okay. So let's talk to Phoebus. Or whatever this man's last name was. I'm I think it may be Phoebus. But I'm not sure. Whoa, Walter Phoebus. Howdy. Perception seven. You look more than just too hot. What's the matter? What? <laughs> Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through oh, it's a heap night. of trouble it's to hot. get in town. It's hot in Vegas. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. Um, what was that about settling a score? There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. What? That nice I'm man that talked to us? I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. What else can you tell me about Heck? What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR oh, really? senators he wants. Ooh. Scoundrels like Heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. Well... Okay, they're painting him as, like, a bad guy, but I'm not convinced that he, like... Because I think where this might be going is, like, we might be, like... He's missing his kid. How about you pretend to hold him hostage unless he gives his your land back or something like that? <coughs> and, uh, I don't know about that. 
I don't know if that's where it's going. I'm maybe jumping the shark here. Okay, Heck claims to be an honest rancher. Sure, kid. And I still hump like a buck in spring. What? That Gunderson's a liar and <laughs> born of a viper, I swear. Okay, you didn't need to spring that one on me. Okay, what do you plan to do about him? Heck's looking for his disappeared son. I've agreed to find it. I don't know if we want to say that to him right off the bat. Let's just start with what do you plan to do about it? I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering. So I'm just going to make him suffer. That's what I'm going to do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just got to find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Okay. So are we going to be part of that plan? Okay. Heck, Heck's looking for... Okay, we can say that. Or we can say vengeance is wrong. It will only lead to more innocent deaths. That's kind of what I think, but this is so hard because we really don't know and we know nothing about Heck. Like we just got introduced to him mildly. We have this like two sides of the story. I'm gonna need another like six part trial series where we really hash this out before I could know for certain. But I don't know, I'm, I'm scared to make the wrong choice, but we'll say Hex looking for his disappeared son. I've agreed to find him. I'll be damned. You mean the young Gunderson? That's a shaved tail if I ever saw one. He's got less sense What's than a, a Brahmin tail? at a crossroads. I'd not be one to complain if he got lost for Is good. Is that like kid. a cow reference? If it makes Hex suffer, then reference? I'm all for it. Um, you might like to know that Hex barely protected right now. Whoa, I don't know if I... Shit. I don't know. Hex barely protected right now. That's not really true. Can I say I'm not interested right now and come back to it? Because I feel like we could be like, hey, Walter, like, help me find his son. He'll probably reward you with land or something if you find his son. Uh, I'm not... Fuck. We'll just say I'm not interested right now, sir. I won't hold it against you, kid. You gotta do your clean thing. I respect that. <laughs> your clean thing. I'd like to ask some other questions. Talk some to time. Walter Phoebus when you are ready What's to help him. You? Okay, we do need to help him. Oh, I have questions. Okay. You. What'd you want to know? What do I want to know? Tell me again about your home. What's a big horner ranch? What was that about settling a score? All right, kid. Be good. Um, let me see what, I just want to see. Feeble will. Talk to Walter Phoebus when you are ready or optional. Ethel Phoebus wants her husband Walter to forget about Heck Anderson and return to the ranch. <sighs> and there's no way that I could like. Good to see you again. Oh, goodbye. All right, goodbye. <laughs> I love that like silly old lady rancher voice. All right, goodbye. I'm just a silly old rancher lady. My voice is like this. Beg your pardon. What? But could oh, I God. trouble you to? Yep, that's fine. My. Goodbye. I. Cause I, I mean, like I don't want to shoot this man necessarily. Tell me good news. Tell me some good news. Um, I don't have any, I guess. I'll be here. Can I do something else? Should have bet we killed the fiend. Chauncey? Good day. I'm looking for someone. Yes! Okay, finally. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's a big hotel. You should talk to Marjorie. She's in charge, and she can probably help you find anyone you might need. No, she we can't trust her. She front of the gourmand. She likes to see how people respond to it. You can get to the gourmand from the lobby here. It's a big oh set of gosh. double doors on the she first floor of the eastern side. Eat? Can't miss it. What a freak! Okay, goodbye. Farewell. Leader. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> not, I'm, I feel like we're not doing a whole lot, but I'm having a lot of fun. Oh wait, the bathhouse. Uh, can I like put a quest marker on here? People will get Ted back to his. Oh, here we go. Ask around at the Ultra Lux. Okay, this way. Let's go, Ganon. Okay, do I need to wear anything special? Oh, I don't have my sexy lingerie. Well, I guess we could wear the suit. 
Welcome to the Ultralux. Heck Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. What is this business? What else? Mr. Gunderson and I have been discussing his livestock. It's put us in a rather delicate position, you see, his coming here. Not that we aren't grateful for his generous what does that mean? offer. But our executive chef, Philippe, has transformed Brahmin steak into a delicacy. He really is a genius. Everyone wants it. Can I talk Not to Philippe? Not a delicacy, is just Philippe? that. Delicate. If everyone can get it, it ceases to be a delicacy. It becomes a perfectly ordinary staple. And if the gourmand serves staples, it would no longer draw the caliber of people it deserves. It would be a diner or... A family restaurant. So what? as much That's as we'd all the... love for well. there to be enough steak for everyone, I'm afraid there are more important things to consider. I feel like I didn't understand that conversation at all. Like, I don't know why it puts her in a delicate position to discuss purchasing meat or not. Like, can't she just be like, sorry, we don't need meat. Um, come back later. <laughs> Um, and then I'm looking for someone who went missing here recently. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction mm. and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume okay. human flesh now for any reason. Now we're getting somewhere. It's written in the charter. Who did you talk to about the disappearance? I would there love to talk to them. There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, oh can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that I don't young think that's what happened, didn't have Marjorie. a clue, the poor dear. I think you and I both know that that is not what happened. All right. Well, I'm investigating someone else. Ooh, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want her to stop talking to us. A man. And he just recently went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going I'm to have a sure, word with Marjorie. my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way I could talk to the investigator? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. <gasps> I had our maitre d' Mortimer Ooh, offer him dead. a complimentary room for as long as it took for him Ooh, to be satisfied. He's so dead. <laughs> you see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy. Even in the face of such impolite accusations, we have nothing to hide here. I'm going to be extremely surprised if he's not dead. Inquire with Mortimer at the Ultralux about the investigator. Okay, the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh, you say? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. Oh, they had a rebrand. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. I love a good rebrand. Well, last time we lied, and that did not work out. So I guess we won't say that to her. Heck, Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you. Do you work here? I guess we'll just say goodbye. Ta-ta. Because -ta. I don't I don't want her to be, like, mad at us. We're going to sneak around. Uh, okay, this is Jay Barnes. I, I don't think... Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive? Where would Ted be? Shit. Oh, shit. Bon Vivian Suite? Uh, where would Ted be? I feel like that's the more urgent issue at hand. Like, you cannot convince me that this man is, or I don't know, maybe he is. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Let's go into the investigator's room, I guess. 
Oh god, he's dead. What happens if I go in here? Search the investigator for clues. Okay, he has a matchbook. Whoops. <laughs> Uh-oh. They didn't see me. Did you see that? <laughs> Oh man, he thought he was gonna come in here and beat the shit out of me. Oh shit! Like oh no! Oh no! God damn it! Oh, I'm gonna punch them to death? Okay. Do you think maybe we should just try and like sneak away? Do you think I should reload that and try and sneak away or should I kill them? Beep, beep, bop. I dismember you. Dismember this! Like, am, am I gonna be in trouble for doing that? It seems like kind of a, a... It seems like a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie. Jay Barnes. Is this really all he had in terms of investigation? Investigatory. Okay, well, let's just see if we are potentially, like, uh, enemies with, like, this guy will attack, oh no, he's not a white blood guy. Bathroom. Um, let's try and find Should've another- we kill the fiends leader. What? Who said that? Let's go see if we can find another white luck er, uh, white glove, and then we'll see if we're unallied with them, or like, you know, we draw aggression. How may I be of service? Okay, so you don't you don't care that I killed that guy. Indeed. Okay, that's fine. Good, good enough. Okay. Um, how do I? Oh, shit. I think we have to find this. Meet with the investigators' contact in the Ultra Lux steam room at 4 p.m. And delicious mezo literally explodes a man. Also mezo. Am I gonna be in trouble for that? <laughs> Is that? Uh, how do game mechanics work? <laughs> I'd wager that the army sending is that uh, is that bad? Um. Oh, am I supposed to m kill the man? Why is it red? 4 p.m. 4 p or here? Wait. Oh, what? Here? Oh no. Oh, an old cowboy hat and glasses. Okay, we don't need to steal anybody's stuff while they're in the sauna that's am i get... am i gonna get like trapped in here is that a thing that's gonna happen i am supposed to be in here right okay we'll just uh wait oh was it p.m before and i like didn't notice okay now bench sit okay we'll wait Ooh. oh is that oh, chauncey oh no chauncey He's gonna die. <laughs> who are you? You first. I'm looking for someone who went missing. Oh, fuck. I don't know what to say. Just looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? Um, he's dead. Oh my goodness, me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who are you afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have oh. me killed. So Mortimer is behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. They've taken many people over the last few months but always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately, they've gone for tourists here on the Strip, even in the hotel. I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Okay. Uh, what were you supposed to discuss here? The girl, the one who disappeared. I know what happened to her. Okay, how do you know what happened? Because I distracted her fiance while they took her. Well, I'm not Chauncey, proud of it, but no. I had to. They could see I was having second thoughts. 
Some of the white gloves began meeting privately a while back, started talking about how we'd lost our identity. I started attending because I thought it was about changing our politics. Then they started talking about returning to the old ways, and there was no way out. They'd kill me for the things I heard them say. Okay, and what about, uh, Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. We're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has <gasps> special plans for him. The White Glove Society oh, no. has a banquet every night at oh, no. 7. It's in our private oh, section. God. Mortimer wants we to have reintroduce to act humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish no. everyone, in Mortimer's what? mind anyway, their minds it's will crazy. be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Okay, where are they keeping Ted? Wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. Uh, where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. What? Anything you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. Well, I don't You'd know. You certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Oh, really? Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions on how to get Ted out? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging them. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen Ooh, I like and serve that idea. a convincing substitute instead, Ooh, I you like could it. walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Wow, Philippe. I'm <laughs> just a crazy boy. Optional, get rid of Philippe and cook for the banquet using recipe of human flesh or option to drug the wine. Mm, Ted's father is a wealthy man. With his resources, this should be easy to stop. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. He's the sort hmm. to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. I mean, and God what would be wrong knows with that? what he'd do to the rest of the strip. Uh, wouldn't they punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's <laughs> idea will appeal to that need. What a he just has to get thing. the thing. <laughs> They care about nothing more than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. What the heck? I don't know. We already asked him all this stuff, so... I guess we just say goodbye. Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait. <gasps> did you hear oh. something? Were you followed? No. We... What? I'm out of here. Who yeah, are you? Call. Assassin? Okay, oh, okay, you're here to assassinate me. Okay, that's fine. Whoa! <laughs> Just lay down on that bench right there. Yep, don't even. You! Keep your mouth shut about this. You didn't see a nothing. I hear a trouble <gasps> I'm not supposed to have a gun out. I am not supposed to have a gun out. Okay, let me, uh... Wait! Did they kill Chauncey? Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh, Chauncey, no, you were such a good friend. 
God damn it. Oh, they're gonna pay. Oh, these people are gonna pay. They do not even know what is, what are you doing here? Are you following me? No, you are, okay. Well, I, um, I would replay that because I do sort of feel like you could potentially get out of there without Chauncey dying. But I also sort of feel like that was scripted. I'm not sure. So what do I need to do now? What do I do beyond the beef? Optional? Find a sponsor to help you join the White Glove Society. Okay, I guess because Chauncey's dead now. Optional, drug the wine. Optional, get rid of Felipe the cook and use his recipe for human flesh. And find a way to gain access to the members only section of the Garmal. Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. Okay, who wants to sponsor? Will you sponsor me? Welcome to the Ultra Lux. I do hope it exceeds your lie it's okay i eat people too i want to join the white glove society i was told i'd need a sponsor why yes of course the white glove society is the most exclusive club in all of new vegas perhaps the entire world okay it's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name originally we didn't allow anyone else in you see founding members only we thought exclusivity oh, like would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone and it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right wow. people really could certainly market, do wonders market, for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists. We want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Ooh. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely <laughs> say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full oh, support, and you that, are welcome is that to join easy? us at our nightly Heck banquets yeah. in our special hey, section of the Gourmand. we're members, guys. I hey, hope to see you there. That'd be a good t-shirt. No, it wouldn't. I don't know. Would it be <laughs> to be a member of the White Glove Society? I don't know if I should lie to her or not. I feel like that's Ta -ta. still... We're walking on thin ice there. Mm. Optional drug the wine. Optional get rid of Felipe. Oh, members only section. I think that's over here. I am a white glove Shit. society you member look now. Positively fam I don't know why he has like a specific uh, name you. if he's not gonna kill the give me any leader. specific. Wait, what? Oh no. Um, is this, is this um quest timed? Cause they just said like, oh, You are, uh, we have a, a dinner at, oh, there's my key, okay, there we go. Um, we have a dinner at seven, so we just need to, what? We need to, it must be horrible to live in places without oh, luxury. Oh, God, she's scary. Um, so I'm kind of nervous that I'm, like, not gonna make it in time or something where's felipe ultra lux kitchen okay here we go felipe is just around the corner i'm sure wow this is the scariest elevator or stairs let's be healthy we're making lots of healthful decisions so felipe why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. I'm just gonna like pretend you didn't say that. I think you may have me confused with someone else. Oh really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. What? Um, let's see. Oh damn. Okay, so we have some options, lie. Oh no, you have it right, I'm a server. Or bartender 55, lie. I'm here to talk about business. Interested in putting out a cookbook? Hey, there's your merch idea. <laughs> Medicine 55, your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past. 
Uh, I think you know which one I'm gonna go with. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because mumsy and daddykins didn't hug me enough. Wow, you're kind of funny. You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. What about the banquet? I guess we could ask him that. Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Oh, God. Okay, well, just a few more sessions and I promise you won't feel that way anymore. Uh, okay. Um, we could get the... Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? Where are you going? I, am I supposed Leave to still talk alone. to you? Haven't you done enough? I don't know. Attack? Barter? I'm a new honor Well, what do you want? I'm very society? busy here. I don't know. Bye. About time. It seems like he's leaving, so I guess I don't really uh, need to do anything more about that. Can I, like, make the... I want to make the meat recipe. Squirrel stew. Uh, is there a way? Cook! Everything necessary to cook the meal is here at your disposal, as long as Felipe isn't there to stop you. Oh, imp to improvise. Intelligence of six or higher, and the recipe required to cook the follow- What? So I need to- Intelligence of six or higher, and a recipe required to cook the following recipe. Do I have the recipe? I'm not- I'm not convinced. Looks like trouble. Watch out! What? Wait, what? Why? Are you serious right now? I didn't do anything. I did not do anything. The pantry terminal. Oh, engage the lock. Um, open the door. I guess, um, I don't know. We'll just close the door and maybe cook. Completed. Optional, use the intercom to call the head waiter. I guess they're gone. Probably for the best. Was there a roach or something? Like, why did he yell that? I'm scared. Oh, the wine. Where's the intercom? Jesus. Oh, here it is. Okay, here, here. Waiter. How may I assist? Time to serve the meal. At once. Completed. Call the waiter. Oh, waiter. Now where do I go? Wine? I don't think I also need to poison the wine. I think we can just go have dinner, potentially. Do you need to, like, talk to me about this or anything? Or will you just do your job? The sooner you find yourself elsewhere, the better. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Am I supposed to poison the wine, too? I'm confused. What is this place? Lockers? Uh... Members only section? Hello there. Where am I supposed to sit? Like, it's seven o'clock. door. Mm. I don't know. I guess I'll just wave a little bit just to see if anything happens. <gasps> Imitation strange meat pie. Do I have to wait till seven o'clock tomorrow now? Oh, here. Mortimer. Marjorie has done a remarkable job managing the restoration of this place. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, sure. Oh, I still need to find Ted. Do I? Oh, I did not know that. I thought that I could just, like, hang out. 
since uh but I, I don't I don't know how like oh should I just go in the pantry and just like see these he's in here right he's gotta be <laughs> I'm just concentrating. I'm doing my. Oh, it's right here. Disengage lock. Ah! The Wait, you're Ted? Maybe they can win this. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. It's not- I'm rescuing you, you dumbass. My daddy sent you? Yes. God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. There's no time to explain. We have to go. Um, some members of the White Glove Society. They were gonna eat you. Yeah, sure, we can say that. What in the Sam hell? Eat me? What kind of sick bastards would eat a person? I'll tell you what, as soon as I'm out of here and my daddy knows the story, you can bet there ain't gonna be no white hat society no more. The White Glove Society isn't to blame just Mortimer. It's not my problem, I don't care what you do. You should have them all killed. It would serve them right. To hell with that. You've seen those freaks. They dress the same, talk the same. You can bet they all eat the same too. They deserve what my daddy's gonna have coming for them. Wow, he sounds like a... Veruca, Veruca Salts? What, what's her name from <laughs> Willy Wonka? You're right. Let's make sure they're all killed. I could always leave you here if you aren't going to listen. All right, all right. But there's going to be some justice one way or another. I'll see to that. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. Optional bring Ted. I feel like we might have a fight in for us. Uh, should we do anything with this? Deep freeze kitchen storage. Um, no. Okay, let's go. I know I'm not the scheduled speaker, but I have a few words if I may. There was a time. Am I so going to interrupt him? When we were bound together, not as members, but as family, as a clan. Just a sec. I want to turn the radio off so I can hear what he's saying. And when Mr. House Just came to us with his proposal, we accepted, skills knowing we rusty. stood to gain much. Little did we know how much we'd lose in the process. As a society, we've endeavored to sample the finest food and drink the world has to offer. But we are living a lie. There is a meat sweeter than the most corn-fed livestock. Most of you have tasted it. All of you have coveted it. Among us, it is a crime to discuss a return to the old ways that unified our people. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Salutations. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. Should I leave? For our society to be truly elite. While he's distracted. We must dine on the mo I just want to check to make sure I'm not like optional bring Ted to the members only this is okay. Get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. Like I feel like we should most take him to his dad. The most exclusive food known to us. I'll just say And save. tonight, for the first time as a society you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. What the? Who is this trespasser? Loudly, bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. Or, I'm looking for the more gourmand. Am I in the right place? Uh, let's say that loudly. What are you... Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though, I can tell you that. 
No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Too late, Mortimer. You've already said too much. You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. Oh, I think it is the White Mortimer. Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. What? He just runs away? Wait, I need that hat. Wait. Mortimer. No. No, Mortimer. God damn it. Where'd he go? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I can catch him. He's too fast. He's too fast. I guess I could shoot him. Oh. Can I? Can I shoot him? Should I shoot him? <gasps> Mortimer. Oh. Is that wrong? Greetings. I don't know. I guess we can let him go. White glove society infamy gained. But I didn't get any I didn't get in trouble for having a gun out. That's weird. So he just runs away. Okay. I'd wager that the army's sending elite units our way. <sighs> That's nice. Are you gonna fight me Please, or anything? You're lowering my status. What? I helped you guys. Where's Marjorie? I want to see what she has to say about all this. Did I do it right? It, that felt wrong. Like, it felt wrong to have him stay alive. I thought that, um... I don't know, that there would be a conflict or, like, I don't know... Maybe Heck Gunderson would show up and his bodyguard would shoot him or something. I don't know. I might replay that. I think it would be good to get his top hat. What do you think? Whoa, don't walk through me. Oh my god. Ted, are you all right? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. Gunderson, Ganderson, can you get out of here? I'm trying to see a special moment with father and son. Okay, I did it. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. Oh, okay. This works out then. This, this works out. Do I just say it was Mortimer, one of the white gloves who had Ted taken? He's a cannibal. Um, Grey Wolf, but there are more speech checks and stuff to finish this. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hank Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn Wait, town. Wait, what? Dude. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. What? Speech 35? That's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city to eat each other. Let's not be hasty. You don't have to punish the entire strip. Or that sounds like a fantastic idea. Okay, let's say uh, that's just what they'd want. I don't like this place. Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it is flooded my nostrils but you got a point they're already hell bent on depravity here all i'd be doing is helping them along all right well i promised you i'd make it worth your while so here you are try not to lose it all at the same casino <laughs> thanks heck a white glove society neutral good nu natured rascal your reputation as a good natured rascal Oh, friend to the community manages to outshine your dark side. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. And what do I want to do? I want to up my survival and barter. And I'm supposed to up my speech as well. So we'll do barter. We'll do speech. And I'll do survival. There. Continue. Okay, 
What do I want? Oh, concentrated fire is good. With concentrated fire, your ac accuracy to hit any body part in vats increases slightly with each subsequent hit on that body part. That sounds pretty good. Also, <laughs> being able to carry more would be good. Let's do, um, let's do concentrated fire. So now what? Do I talk to Mr. Phoebus? Ooh, it's nighttime. You retrieve your confiscated stuff. Nice. I sort of feel like we should just convince Phoebus to... Oh, did he leave? Did we fail that I've quest? I've heard that Securitrons are nastier or than ever. Um... Oh, I guess we failed it. Shit. <laughs> uh, inform guest man you fixed the White Glove Society's cannibalism problem. Oh, let's do that. Damn, I hesitated for oh. too long. Hi again. Can I help you with something else? Uh, let's talk about the tribes I should get Please, to know. Go on. I visited the cons. Uh... I'm familiar with the boomers. They can be ignored. Do we have like other options? Like, can we say? Okay, we can only say that they can be ignored. Like we can't. I don't know why I would tell him, like, their problems, but I guess it probably just, this is, this depends on what sort of status you have with those communities. Okay, I'm familiar with the Brotherhood. They can be ignored. Then consider them ignored. If they end up firing their howitzers at us, we'll ignore that too. Until it goes away. <laughs> That's one down, four to go. <laughs> okay. I visited the con settlement. I don't know. We haven't played out the con's full story yet. So I don't feel comfortable giving him an answer there. The Americas were pl plotting to destroy the strip, so I killed the conspirators. Wow. That is amazing. You are just a hero. I am serious. Oh, God. That's two down, three to Saying go. Saying I am serious really makes me feel like that is exactly what you mean, yes, man. I spoke to Marjorie and Mortimer. I say leave the White Glove Society alone. Uh, the White Society Glove Society had a cannibalism problem, but I solved it. I remember Yes Man was kind of into the White Glove Society. Like he was like, they seem very polite and nice. Uh, let's say that we solved it. A cannibalism problem? Really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's three down, two to go. Mm. Two to go. I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the Brotherhood. I do want the Brotherhood left alone. Okay, consider them forgotten, along with the projections that predict they'll be our biggest enemy. Forgotten. Oh, really? That's four down, just one to go. I love how, well, he is called Yes Man. Uh, let's talk about something else. Goodbye. Come back later if you need anything. Okay. Let's see. We're at three hours. I feel like I could do something else tonight. Um. Disable the bottle cap press. What is this? Um. This must have something to do with like the sarsaparilla company or something oh yeah maybe we, we can do that we can do a couple small things maybe and twist that robot looks suspiciously too happy yeah i think that's kind of his thing <laughs> i just i love his responses like how well basically what you're saying twist just how um it's like he's kind of <laughs> Like he does, he's really like trying hard not to be mean about it. <laughs> he's like, wow, you are so dumb, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, where do we need to go to disable this? Ooh, we were here before, but for some reason we didn't disable any press. Oh, I remember this place. I looted like a thousand bottles from here. 
Is anyone gonna come get us? Bottle cap press. Can I make me some bottles? Bottle caps? The grease on the bottle cap press is fresh, indicating that someone used it recently. Leave it alone or strip all the important looking bits out of the machine. Let's do that. All right, let's leave. Return to Alice McClafferty and let her know that the bottle cap press is out of action. She's out of commission, boys. Oops, wait, what am I doing? I thought I was trying to leave. It's very dark. I feel like someone should have ambushed me. Like someone should have been like, you're not Hi, supposed to be here. If you were... It looks like you got a fair number of stars in your saddlebags. You're still a few cards short of Damn it! What do I do? Howdy, partner! It looks like you've got a fair number of stars in your saddlebags. I feel like we've gotten so many uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla caps. Let's just tell her the bottle cap press is no longer Good. a problem. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Thank you. Quest. Wait. One complete. Um, pressing matters. It's been a pleasure. It's weird that I couldn't, uh, that fiend leader shouldn't have I don't know, confront some sort of gang that was the one in charge of the press or something. I thought there was going to be more action to that, if I'm being completely honest. Maybe I could have, like, left it alone and then hidden or something? Always options. Always more ways to complete the quest than one. Oh, we could, oh, we could rescue, okay, here's some action. Rescue the NCR hostages from tech, a uh, mine. <laughs> this is one I found when I was wandering around by myself. Right by Nelson. Let me snipe. Okay, I'll do my best. Oh, oh, oh. Oops, infamy gained. Oops. Gosh, I hate that I have to like, okay. There's something so satisfying about, oh, whoops, did I go up the wrong way? No. I guess I could dress as a legionary sometimes instead of just, something that I totally have not done in this game at all is used the mechanics of like, um, Disguising yourself as the enemy. I should really do that more. Let's sneak. Ooh, I, for a second I had like a Skyrim. A Skyrim thought like where I over. saw the, uh... Whoa! Oh my god, I thought you were a dog. You're a man. I saw the mushrooms and I was like... Oh, I can't wait to pick these and then <laughs> make a sweet potion later. Make a really nice brew. What is this? This is very... Oh my god, it's so dark. <gasps> I shouldn't be going down here. Why am I going down here? There you are. What? <laughs> I was looking for you. You literally had to stand right on top of me in order to... Okay, I guess we won't shoot that guy. Uh, we get to shoot him in the butt. Beep, beep. Oh. Boop, boop. ba da -bop. Boom. Come on. Wow, this is such an awkward position to be killing people in. <gasps> oh, it's chaos! Oh, my god. <laughs> Oh, like and I missed. Oh, I love that. Oh, ah! Wow! Oh! Oh! They keep coming! Oh my god, and I keep missing. <laughs> okay. Oh, I guess I didn't miss him that bad, but... In vats, I certainly did. Wait, there's someone still alive? Who? Where? Wee! <laughs> 
When their heads just pop off like that, there's something kind of satisfying about that. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Vengeance. Death to the oh. Legion's enemies! Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, something I want to do is go around to some of the unique vendors that have special weapons and stuff. And with our new found inheritance, our all of our winnings, um, get some new... <laughs> get some new weapons and stuff. Untie. The Legion will pay for this. I think the Legion, we've wiped them all out, so I think they're, they won't die if I let them go. Untie. The Legion will pay for this. Oh, did I steal his own, his stuff? Ooh, we have some stuff in here. Are there any more? Okay, no more bad guys are registering on my Pip-Boy. Um, I think I might wrap it up here tonight. I feel like I accomplished my main task of figuring out what was going on at the Lux. And we have some serious time to spend with the NCR coming up. Mm, I think I might get through a couple NCR quests that help us progress in the main quest line and then jump into Old World Blues. So. All right, friend, before I send you to the next video in this series, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't yet, subscribe or check out some of my other socials. I'm on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and I'd love to see you there too. Until next time.